going on guys? This is Chris from CJC Exotics. Uh, we've got two egg cuttings today. I know it's been a while since we've done one of these. Uh, the last couple weeks have been a little crazy. Just a lot of, you know, eggs coming out or animals coming out of their eggs trying to get them to eat. Um, just, you know, a lot of family stuff over the weekends. So just a lot of crazy stuff. So finally, back to it. Happy to get back to it, finally. So we got two clutches today. The first clutch we're cutting was a banana pastel to a jungle woma. And then the next clutch will just be all blue-eyed leucistics. So if any of you who like the all white snakes with blue eyes, that's what that whole other clutch is gonna be. And then this one I got no clue. We'll figure that out together. So we got two, four, six pretty eggs. And I'm feeling more snake than egg in a lot of these, which is good. Now, let's get a cutting. Um, which one do I want to do first? You know what? I guess I'll separate them in groups like so. And then do like one at a time. Those are nice big eggs. They are. The mom always makes nice big eggs for us, which I'm always happy with. Good catch. Well, what's steady, Freddy? All right, what's the first one looking like? And it's a pastel for sure. Uh, pastel jungle woma. Oh, that's sick. So before I really that's get more nice. into it, for those of you who don't know, banana's kind of a weird gene, where it, I guess the better understanding is similar to calico cats, where if a banana male goes to a regular female, half the babies that are banana will all be boys, and any non-bananas will all be girls. So this is why I will automatically know the gender. This is a girl. Awesome. If it's not banana, it's a girl. Alright, next one coming up. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. see it again. Just, just a jungle woma. What a nice pattern. Look yeah. The little head sticking up there. That is so cute. I very much love how like variant they are. Wow, that pattern's crazy. It's, it almost looks like puzzle. It looks puzzle. Well, the super for these is called Puzzle Back, which was I guess the original puzzle before jungle woma or before the, the puzzle gene itself was ever found. Okay. But I like Jungle Loma just because you can see the, just the varying difference between, like, a regular one to a pastel. So it's it's nice. Another I, one with the face sticking up, huh? Yeah, these guys are ready for the world. They're rearing to go. <laughs> yeah, because I can feel more snake than egg in these, which just means they're... If I didn't cut them today, they would have just started pipping themselves. So, which isn't bad. Nope, that's great. But this just ensures their survival. Come on, banana. Give me a banana. Genetic says I should at least get one. Well, well, <laughs> they call it the odds gods, right? Um, oh, then it has right up top. Yeah, huh? another what a jungle woma this time round. That's beautiful. Yeah, so another pastel jungle woma. Isn't that weird, huh? So, putting some magic onto these in hopes <laughs> that maybe we get a banana. <laughs> yeah, so we like to make a lot of banana stuff, just because one we like banana, and two. A lot of the customers seem to very much like uh, the bananas we make because it seems like every time I post them up on Morph Market, uh, they're not there for very long. Ah, ha ha! The magic worked. Get through some good juju. Oh, look at that! It's hard to tell right now, but this might just be a regular banana, which I'm totally fine with. I like bananas. So, what about this like real high red or orange blushing in that? That's just what banana does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I've, I've made plenty of banana pastels in the past, but I've never hit a regular banana. That's so cool. Which is, pretty, which is absolutely hilarious in the couple years I've been doing this. I've only ever hit banana pastels. If it was a banana pastel, it had something else in it. Never hit a plain banana. That's so funny. this is probably my first plain banana I hit. Which, if you guys like banana, there'll be plenty more next year. And this is definitely a male. Unless it's not, because sometimes... Well, what is it, like one out of 
It's like hundred. Yeah, it's one out of a hundred. You might hit a female, and then that's a whole other science I don't want to get into. Uh, another. Yeah. Okay. Here oh, we go. So there's your difference. That's a banana pastel, for sure. Oh yeah. So like you can you see can, how much more faded you that You can one see is. the difference, how, like, this one is oh, versus yeah. this one. It's so much more yellow yeah. here. And then you got this guy here. You can see is like, a lot more gray. Yeah, a lot more faded out. That's a banana pastel for sure. Wow. All right, well. Another happy little head popping up there. Look at this guy. I see the eye sticking up. You want to go for a three for three? See if the other one's a banana? Wouldn't that be awesome, huh? I imagine. I'd actually be happy with that because I've never produced more than... Excuse me, one banana from one of these clutches. I always, for some reason, got terrible luck. So the fact we got two makes me very happy. All right, one more. Shut up. No, no way. No, sir. <laughs> Another banana. Oh, right, that's oh, this banana jungle woman, actually. Oh, so you got one of each. Yeah. So, oh, that's really cool. That's I'm actually really, very really, happy with this. That is really good. You know what's eyes. hilarious is I've done this pairing three years in a row, and I've only ever gotten one banana from each of those clutches. I guess finally the odds guys were like, you know what? You deserved it. Here's some bananas for you. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. One clutch down. Actually, I can pull out one of the babies real fast from um, last year. Go ahead. Yeah, let me go find him. Right over here. The wrecks are all right here, so it's easy for me to find them. Uh, here we go, Boyo. Yeah, so. This is a banana pastel jungle Wilma. This is the son of the banana pastel that produced these. And next year he'll be going to make some cool puzzle back stuff. He looks great, doesn't he? But to give you an idea just how they are as babies and how much they color up with age. I know people don't like them as much because, you know. For some reason, they will get a lot of spotting or they'll get bland. But it seems like the ones I have don't get a lot of spotting. It's an interesting line. It is. Because even with the pastel, I know they should be getting like some spotting here and there. But he's already a year and a half old and he has very little spots on him. Like, extremely little. Mm -hmm. But the blushing is absolutely insane. I, I love it. That's why I never got into the Ultra Miller Caramel stuff. Because... Yeah, it's kind of a close similarity. I know it's not exactly caramel albino, but it's on that same genetic thing. Well, so. the banana gene is also more viable, isn't it? Yes. Well, Ultramel is viable too, but then you have to make hets, then you have to wait a couple of years when you just got a banana male and you just throw them a bunch of females and there you go. There's your bananas. Awesome. And like I said, we'll have more next year because it'll be his time to go. And we've also got another male uh, banana that um, we're going to be throwing a lot of uh, the clown stuff. So for people who like banana clowns or things of that nature, be ready for that. All right. Very happy with how this one came out, actually, because I, I love banana. It's one of the one of the first genes, I, I think, yeah, that I remember seeing and just really loving it. Yeah, it's next, very unique. There's nothing else around. like it, really. It was a banana. I remember exactly. It was, it was some pet store. It was like, Eight or nine, we went to a, I went to a pet store with my uncle because he had to go get bugs, and there was a long tank, and inside it was a, a bumblebee, ball python, and a banana, and I was blown away by the fact that these things actually existed. I mean, back then this was after the market crash, so they were about, I think the bumblebee was like twelve hundred bucks, and the banana was like two thousand. Wow! <laughs> so it was a lot of money back then, even the the mid early to mid 2000s there but yeah those that's my first experience of just seeing a morph of something pretty wild and then of course going having a little look see at the old nerd place which was that was a mind blow and a half all right that's about the past we're talking about the present now so this whole clutch will be blue eyed blue cystics yeah which is all white stakes with blue eyes so the people who like the bells as well this is all for you guys. Uh, these are also with a gene that popped up in our collection called Gold Blush. So the unfortunate thing is I made a pairing that I won't tell if it has it or not. And there's no proven super for the Gold Blush. And I'm still working with it on some other projects. So we'll we'll see what happens with it. Maybe exciting. there's a proven super. I don't know yet. So All exciting stuff, though. I know. It's all amazing stuff. 
Okay. Right. Well, at least there we go. Don't have to really guess at what's what. <laughs> well, somewhat, yeah, because it's a it was a Mojave lesser to a Super Mojave. So, is there a rare chance that you could get something here that's not all white? I have no clue. To be completely honest with you, I have no clue. All right. What do we got? Ta-da! Ta-da! Um, that looks all white. That's very all white. I think this is a Mojave Lesser. Can't really see the head yet, so it's hard to say. Right. But just by how white that is, that's a Mojave Lesser for sure. All right. Next. Can I guess? <laughs> Sure, you can go ahead and guess. I bet it's a white snake. I think so, too. <laughs> uh, it's a white snake. Uh, this one has more of a purple face compared to that one, so I think oh, that's yeah. super Mojave. For sure. <laughs> There's a little nose sticking up there. Yeah, that's great. Oh, that's good when a lot of them are sticking out. That means I love usually, to see that. That means usually they're ready to come out. And these eggs are very wrinkly, so that was probably a sign that they were getting close to the gimlet. We've got a lot more of these egg cuttings this month, so if you like egg cuttings, be ready. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Well, it's another blue eyed leucistic. No. Oh, it's a, uh, Mojave Lesser. You can see by the head right there. Oh, look at the head right there, huh? Yeah. That guy was ready to cut the egg himself. I see that nose sticking up. Yep. Oh, and, them, oh, and they have that little, uh, the what tooth? they call an egg tooth, right? Yes, they do. But isn't it just like part of their nose? Um... Kinda. If you like see the skeletons of baby snakes, it's part of like their skeleton, so it's part of them. And then as they get older, they and lose it, it. It like grows away, right? Yeah. Basically, basically goes away, like comes down as they do it. As they grow, it disappears. Yeah. This so one's hard cool. to tell. Yeah. Well, I know it's a blood of the cystic. Well, but, that we have. But right? I don't know if it's a Mojave lesser or a super Mojave. Also, there's probably a chance these will all be. Uh, gold blush as well because it was a gold blush to gold blush pairing right but i don't know if it's co-dominant um the founder of it brian gundy says it's co-dom but i don't know if there, even he doesn't know if there's a proven super yet because it's so hard to tell we have one that'll probably be available uh next couple weeks or so that's a head for clown so it'll be interesting to see what the clowns will look like in the future because that's a project we're working on other than that, we really don't know much about it. All we know is that it's a pattern-enhancing gene, and that's really about it. So to have blue-eyed leucistics that may or may not have it <laughs> will be interesting. Another one that's belly up, but I can kind of see the head, and that tells me Mojave Lesser? Oh, Mojave Lesser's this time around. I'm actually kind of happy with that. It's pretty the... neat. Because the last time was very super Mojave heavy. And the difference is because in an all-white snake, you can actually still see, but they get more of a, uh, I guess, like a, a light purple or a darker head, right? Yeah, the super Mojaves uh, keep like a darker head. There's been some debate if they're like really a true leucistic because they still have color to them, but I think they are. Well, sure. I mean, it shows in the eyes. Yeah, right? it shows for sure, just in the animal itself. All the, all the eyes are blue, and that's just the leucism in and of itself. Um, the head's upside down, so I can't tell. Mm, <laughs> that's okay. A lot of these are kind of upside down, so yeah. there's some where I was like, okay, I know what it is. but They're all white, just as predicted. These and three, it's hard to tell, but... Yeah. That's, that's all white with me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so, yeah. Happy with how these turned out. Nice. Obviously, one was very easy to tell what's what. The other one was a little more of a surprise because for some reason, the last couple of years, my odds with bananas haven't been the best. So I'm happy that went the way it did. And by the way, these guys are, they'll probably start crawling out in the next week or so. And they'll be happy. Healthy. You say the next week or so? Yeah, yeah, about the next week or so. Okay. Since they're so close to their due dates to begin with. Right. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the egg cutting. Please like, share, and subscribe to videos. 
that we make. Uh, it's all really for you guys out here who like, you know, to see kind of the small guys do their thing. Um, also, uh, we have social media links in the uh, description below as well. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Thank you.